Chancellor, distinguished guests, teaching staff, and of course the reason we're all here today, graduates. It's such a huge honour to be here with you all on this incredibly special day. I feel completely overwhelmed seeing all of you in this wonderful building. Some years ago, the Dalai Lama was at an event and somebody who was keen to learn the secrets of a happy life asked him a simple question. He said, Your Holiness, you've spent your whole life doing these amazing things, learning so much. But when was your happiest moment? The Dalai Lama paused in a moment of reflection as the audience sat on the edge of their seats. And then he smiled and said, happiest moment, I think now. And right here, right now, there's every reason for us all to feel happy, to celebrate your amazing achievements. But what I love about that story is it reminds us that there's a potential to find happiness in any moment right here, right now. In many ways, it depends on our mindset more than our circumstances. We are surrounded by challenging times. We have uh, recovery from this awful pandemic. We have economic uncertainty, war, climate change, many things that worry us. But that's not the only story in our world. There are so many reasons for us to stay hopeful. All around the world, people like you are working to make things better. Every day, millions of tiny acts of kindness and little good things happen all around us. They may not make the news, but they're definitely there when we stop to notice them. So my first encouragement to you all today, to all of us, is to be a realistic optimist. We have to recognise the reality of how things are, including the issues, but we can also choose to notice and be grateful for the good things. Or in the words of Robert Brault in a quote which I love, he says, enjoy the little things because one day you may look back and realise that they were the big things. Now today I feel incredibly grateful to receive this uh, honorary doctorate on behalf of everyone involved in our Action for Happiness charity. We're working to build what we call a happier and kinder world together and I know that you're all contributing to that better world. You will already have discovered, I'm sure, that happiness comes from helping others. You'll be doing a lot of that. You'll be transforming and helping people's lives as you continue your journeys in health and social care and related fields. Fantastic. I'm so honoured to be with you all. But I would also encourage you to remember that you can't pour from an empty cup. In order to be the best that you can be, to help others, to really make a difference, you also need to look after your own well-being too. And so my second encouragement to you today would be to be as kind to yourself as well as others. Be kind as you would be to a loved one, to yourself. So many of us talk so harshly to ourselves. Let go of that inner critic and just be comfortable with you just as you are. You're, you're, you're perfect just as you are, especially in these wonderful robes. Finally, I'm often asked, what is the most important sort of contributor to a lifelong happiness and well-being? There's a very famous Harvard study which has followed um, hundreds of people through many, many decades across their whole lives, tracking every aspect of their physical health, their mental health, their behaviours, their situation, to try and understand what really contributes to a, a long and fulfilling life. So what is it? Well, it turns out when you look at the data, it's not about how much we earn, it's not about where we live, it's not about actually what we do so much as it is about the quality of our relationships. We are a social species and in fact the biggest predictor of lifelong happiness is our connection. So look around you in this fantastic room, look at these friends and colleagues. Take time in your life to stay connected to the people that matter, to your neighbours, to your co-workers, to your loved ones. Because at the end of the day, happiness is about being part of something bigger than ourselves and feeling that we're really contributing. And I know that you're going to be contributing so much. So thank you for welcoming me, me, me here today and I wish you all huge success in your ongoing journeys and every happiness. Thank you.